Calling with Colors. Calling with Colors. Celebrating the art from CCI at the Georgian Frame Gallery. Collingwood Collegiate Art Students, thank you for your support. Margot Nicholson, owner of the Georgian Frame Gallery in downtown Collingwood, helped to launch Collingwood Colors last year and is once again hosting the exhibition of artwork created by Collingwood Collegiate students. When people come in to see this show, they're going to see the exceptional talent of our youth of today in Collingwood. Um, the students at CCI are doing exceptional artwork, as you can tell by the uh, pieces that are behind us here on the wall. They are just a wonderful group of students and their artistic talents are incredible. Margot says that for many of the students, this show represents the first time their work has been displayed in public. They take it on incredibly well and it's really quite amazing to see them coming down in groups and stuff, um, looking themselves for artwork and even coming into the gallery and asking questions. It's quite delightful to be able to showcase the youth in such a positive light. Collingwood Collegiate art teacher William Bansize says the students focused on familiar sights in Collingwood. Uh, as you can see, we've got some pretty crafty interpretations of uh, Collingwood landmarks. Uh, we tried to do an advertisement pitch in some of them uh, that interrelated with the works and, and maybe a little history. And others we did uh, cropping close-ups and it was just their, uh, their take on Collingwood. Last year, close to $1,700 was raised from sales, money that stays right in the school. Uh, that goes directly toward uh, supplies for the art department. Uh, unfortunately, it, it usually supports next year's students, but we always say, hey, participate now and you benefit yourself for next year because we hope that these students continue on in the program. The artwork is really impressive. Sydney chose to display a Collingwood landmark that helped light an artistic fire for her years ago. Um, well, we were touring around for uh, getting ideas, I guess, and uh, I came across this, and it was over there, um, and it brought back memories, because I went to Girl Guides for a bit, and we took a field trip there, and uh, it was an awesome art gallery. It's a good experience, <laughs> so it brought back a little bit of memories. JC's submission was a spur-of-the-moment idea. It was pretty spontaneous. I just... It just came. I guess it just flowed. Now tell us about this project. How did you get involved in this? Um, Mr. Rensleis made me do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they made you do it. It was fun though. It was good. What, it. what do you think the town gets out of this? People who don't know the students, they come in and see this. Um, if they're not a little shocked, um, they're hopefully impressed by the creativity of it. I enjoy it a lot. I like art. So what types of things do you like to do? I like sketching and different types of charcoal and stuff like that. Tracy has always admired a piece of Collingwood history that sits at the corner of 3rd and Pine Streets. I painted a picture of the Thurso house and uh, when I was a child I used to walk around downtown and I always saw this like fairy tale like house and it was so beautiful and it caught my eye. So that's why I tried to paint it, recreate it. Collingwood Colors. Celebrating the art from CCI. Calling with Colors hopes to match at least the $1,700 raised last year. The framed 12 inch canvases sell for $50 each. Calling with colors.